What's going on YouTube friends? We are back here with the LG C2 bringing another video to you. And as you can see here on the screen as it'll disappear momentarily, there it goes. We're talking about the C2 today because there is yet another firmware coming from LG for your LG C2 or your G2. So if you're stopping in checking out the video because you have a G2, this applies to you as well. Now I wanna start off this video by apologizing about how I sound been under the weather the last couple of days, but when the TV let me know that there was an update available, I wanted to go ahead and get a video going for you guys. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and get the update installed. And then after the installation is complete, we'll come back and we'll check out what actually comes with the update and talk a little bit about that from there. Okay, let's get things kicked off here. We're gonna press and hold that little sprocket or settings button on your remote. And it's gonna pull up your menus over here. You have picture, sound, general support. You're gonna to wanna to go to support, software update, and here's where you can find your current firmware version number, as well as if you wanna turn on or off auto update for your TV, as well as the little note right here, letting you know if you have a software update available, if the TV has already kind of preloaded it on slash force the update, it'll let you know here. If you don't see anything here, you can actually just click right here. It'll say check for updates. You can click that and then it'll let you know if there's an update available. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and click on download and install. We're gonna get the progress bar going here and we're getting that new firmware update installed. So I won't bore you and just keep you here while this updates across this progress bar. So we'll come back on the other side. First of all, if anything weird happens during the installation and if everything is smooth sailing, we'll come back on the other side with what actually comes with the update. Okay, it looks like we're pretty much wrapping up the install here. It's at 99%, it'll click to 100, let me know everything is uh, Good to go, there it is, we've hit 100. Um, nothing complicated along the way, unlike my LG C3. You can see down there, software update has been installed. Update will be applied when you restart your TV. Let me come back to the fact that I just said there were no complications along the way installing this update. Unlike my LG C3, I referenced that because I have a couple of videos now on the C3 and actually updating that TV, and it's been problematic two times. Both times the TV is updated. I've had issues along the way, weird error messages, etc. My LG C2 here, strong as bull, right? Everything's good. So anyhow, uh, update is installed. So where we go from here is we'll go ahead and check out what comes with the update, make sure the TV is still functioning after the TV has been restarted. So see you there. Okay, we are back. Here with the C2, TV has been restarted. Everything is fired back up like usual. We'll go ahead and hit the uh, press and hold the settings button. Just make sure that firmware uh, number has changed. Here's support, software update. And the new ver software version number is 03.33.85. This is fairly close to the, ver uh, the firmware version number that I had previously on the TV. So not anticipating a lot of feature changes with this, but Still, we'll check out what comes with the update starting now. Okay, so we're over here at the LG website uh, in the software and drivers section. And what we're gonna be doing here is searching for the TV model number of the TV I just updated. So if you're not familiar with this page or how to do this, I'm gonna show you how to do it while we're here. So what we're gonna do is go here to search by model number. And if you're searching for an OLED TV, you're actually gonna start out by typing OLED. So we're gonna do that, O-L-E-D. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna start pre-populating different TV models and sizes, all that stuff. Well, we updated a 77 inch C2. So the next thing to do is to put the size of the display. So we're gonna type 77 and it's gonna update these, which it did. And we updated a C2, we'll go ahead and type that. And now we have these two to choose from C2. PUA or AUA. My particular model is an AUA. Truth be told, this may or may not even matter to be honest with you once you get to this point, but I'm going to go ahead and select the one that I actually have. So I'm going to make that selection. And it's not going to work. I'm going to try it again. There we go. So now we are actually on the updates page for this particular C2 model. And you'll see right here, it talks about software update, blah, blah, blah. If we scroll down a little bit, we actually get the most recent software update file. 
And from here, you have things like maybe some instructions to view in PDF form. Here's the actual update itself if you want to manually ins up, install the update. Uh, I do have a previous video showing you how to do a manual installation. So if you ever get to a point where you're eagerly awaiting a software update for your TV, and for whatever reason, it never just comes over the air to your TV, you can actually manually update it. And I do have a video showing you the steps to do that. But... For the purposes of this video, let's take a look what actually comes with 03.33.85. So we're going to click on reference right here, scroll down, and right here it'll show you what exactly what comes with the update, which is one dot improvement. Those of you that follow the channel a long time know this is pretty much a staple for any LG TV update. They're never going to tell you what they improve, but they're going to tell you they improve something. And then right below that, fixing minor bugs in software. There's been an update or two recently where that actually wasn't included in the uh, the log notes for the update. I was kind of surprised by that considering there definitely have been some bugs and some of the recent updates. So what this update looks like is nothing major. It looks like it's just tying up some loose ends on the previous firmware on the TV and correcting a couple of issues with that. So as always, now that the update is installed on the TV, I'll be sure to uh, do some testing with my TV, just kind of going through the menus, checking out different settings, just to see and make sure if everything is still working as it, as it should. And if I come across anything that's not working correctly, I'll be sure to get a video out to you uh, to letting you know what that is. So that's going to do it for the video. As always, appreciate you watching the video. Hopefully you found the video entertaining, helpful, etc. If you did, consider leaving a like on the video helps out the channel greatly, gets the video circulated out to more people, hopefully becomes helpful to them, and it doesn't cost you anything. And if you're new to the channel, appreciate you watching, uh, consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, consider hitting that bell so you don't miss my uploads. Until the next one.